Hi all, uh, welcome back to my channel. My name is Bog. Uh, earlier today I did a little bit of uh, uh, hunting in my local thrift store and I picked up a, a couple bags and I mainly bought them for one or two specific models. But uh, I, there are some pretty good ones in this in these bags. So when we go through the first one here, we just with just the Hot Wheels, and we'll see if there's anything uh, worth it. A couple of them are damaged, like this uh, uh, th this pickup here, which is missing the uh, the windshield. But it's not too bad of a uh, model. I mean, all the parts are there, so it could be an easy fix, and I might do that in in the future. But for now, it's not too bad, so I'll I'll leave it as is. And then you got a a, a green version of a Panos uh, LMP1 car, which is in really good shape. I have a. Uh, a premium a premium of it but this is actually very nice shape so it's pretty not too uh many little uh flea bites in the paint or anything like that so it's actually a fairly fairly decent uh model so that's pretty cool of a find so the next one here is a nice color of a nice bmw and it looks not too bad the tampos are still in pretty good shape it's got those uh weird wheels that i never really liked but it looks like it's in fairly decent condition so that's not a bad find at all so i like that one uh let's check out this one here which i'm sure a lot of us in our collections have and it, it is the Monoposto. But I don't have, other than this one right now, this is the only one I have of this casting. Uh, you can see that it looks in fairly decent shape. Everything seems to be there. So that's pretty cool to have been able to uh, uh, find uh, this one. So that's all right. That's a nice little casting. <clears throat> And we have a, uh, what is this thing called here? Uh, steel flame. And it looks, now you guys tell me, because I'm not entirely sure, but is the back end supposed to look like this? Like it's been stepped on or crunched or something like that? I'm not entirely sure doesn't look like it looks like it's supposed to be like that oh yeah i guess because the front wheels are like that too but all the tampos and everything are in good shape so that's pretty neat it's a nice little uh, a pickup truck with uh, decent uh, markings on it so that's pretty cool and then you got a different version of the power pistons and this one should have i think uh, maybe not. It does look like it's supposed to open. Because the original power pistons had the uh, the canopy that opens. But this one, I guess, does not. It, yeah, it looks, it's sealed. But it's not too bad. I have a few of these power pistons. So it's great to have another a cool example, which looks really good shape. But I think the one that I really uh, bought this set for is this johnny lightning uh ford uh, thunderbird in the coca-cola and you can see it's in really wicked shape i wonder if the hood opens on it or not maybe oh yeah it does too there we go and we got a bit of an opening hood on it so that's a pretty good uh, find right there i mean it looks and the wheels and tires are axles are straight hardly any paint lost if anything at all so this one i think is probably 
the highlight of this bag so that's pretty awesome so that is cool i do like that one very much that's a nice find the next bag i have is kind of a strange one because i didn't buy it for the <clears throat> That tractor here, which is a John Deere tractor. But uh, it is kind of, it is insanely heavy. The amount of uh, <laughs> metal in this is just incredible. But it is kind of a funky uh, casting. I'm not sure exactly what I'll do with it, but I'll, I'll figure something out, I guess. But what I specifically bought this for is, for those of us at a certain age will remember the Thunderbirds uh, TV show that came out. And this is a the Matchbox from 1992. It is missing a boat, which... Uh, supposed to go into here but i don't have that it didn't come with the model but it this clicks in to here which it doesn't want to stay let's see if i can get it to stay oh uh, there we go oh i see there's a little switch back here that locks it into place so it's clicks in like that but it also has the working uh, landing struts. So let's see if we could, so it's, if it's like that, it's fine. Uh, it looks like there's a spring probably in the release mechanism that is broken, but it's not a major, big deal for me but the nice thing is is that the landing struts are there so it could be displayed with the boat down or the uh, the land uh, the the box down so that's kind of a pretty cool uh find in my opinion yeah so you could see that it is very good shape. I think the landing gear works quite well for the struts. So again, with just releasing these buttons up top here, it releases the struts so it could, it could land. And then technically this is a, this uh, little pod here is supposed to come down and inside it is a thunderbird one or three i can't remember exactly now i'm not entirely sure either if but i think so there was a door here that opened and closed but it is missing but still not too bad so once i figure out a way to keep this thing uh, locked into place like that, it should stay and it stays pretty good. So it looks really, really nice. So I'm I'm happy I was able to find that one for a reasonable price too. So that's pretty cool. Uh, but uh, guy, ladies and gentlemen, I'll, I'll I'll leave it there. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this kind of content, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see everyone in the next video.